So this is a pretty good bike path, I have to say. All except for this little lovely feature right in the middle of the bike path. But somebody's even put a reflective uh, sticker on it to try and warn people not to ride into it. Absolute class. Well done for sticking that right in the middle of the bike path. sunset tonight and uh, I'd like to show you a little bit of uh, footage from yesterday's commute and then perhaps backtrack a little bit and just talk a little bit about why it ended up the way it did. Check it out. Nice one, thanks a lot. <laughs> How are you all doing? So I should probably explain a little bit about how it works at the moment. So work's pretty chaotic, um, not necessarily in a good way, but it is what it is. Um, with new term and all everything being remote and obviously we're rolling out a new course that we're all trying to figure out how that works too, in parallel to the one that we're already running. Um, so that's pretty, pretty crazy. Um, then obviously I've got to try and cover off the stuff that Bex isn't capable of doing. Uh, while she's having her chemo treatment so doing all the jobs she normally does and then there's looking after Bex uh, which doesn't really leave a huge amount of time to do other stuff and that particular day was one of those days where things just unravel and I was uh, actually in my cycling kit ready to go and uh, in a moment's notice everything changed and I ended up having to take Bex to, uh, to the hospital not for anything uh, urgent, just for an appointment, but the original plan to get her there uh, fell through. So uh, I ended up, um, yeah, having to ride, to drive in rather than ride in. And that wasn't obviously part of my plan. And as I've said many times on these videos, one of the things I've learned uh, about being a mental health first aider at, uh, at work at uni is that when things that you can't control go out of control, you do look for those elements where you can control stuff. It's a normal human reflex to do that. Um, and at the minute, mine, uh, mine is kind of eating and drinking, really. Comfort eating and drinking <coughs> wine and beer, because uh, I can control those things. And um, so, yeah, that's the major drama at the minute. I don't have two minutes, really, to be able to, uh, to kind of think for myself or do anything sort of uh, positive for myself really and I think that's something that an awareness of which is really important that's why making these videos is still a really important part of my uh, my journey although that journey at the minute is not quite what I'd planned two years plus ago when I started making these um, where are we gonna go dog where are we heading but the one thing that is still really apparent that has become more apparent this week for some unknown reason it's just uh, what somebody called it, uh, cashing in your your investment in friendship, really, where uh, all those years of building and nurturing friendships, kind of, you call you call some of that in, really, and people have just been so amazing. Our friends bringing around food and helping out with the dog and stuff. Um, don't underestimate what little gestures mean to people when they're uh, when they're struggling a bit. Um, if you're in a position just to do anything at all, um, then do it because it does make a massive difference to day to day. <laughs> it's all right. Freaked out by the uh, by the uh, grass cutter. This is our BMX course, by the way, where uh, I quite often bring the kids. But <clears throat> it's where I practice my cyclocross uh, training so that every season I can be slightly worse than I was last year. Uh, can't foresee me doing any cyclocross this year. Anyway, um, and there was one other guy who I only know from Twitter, who um, basically he's obsessed with the Lotus 110 and 108 um, bikes, which you'll probably remember from Chris Boardman's 92 Barcelona uh, gold medal. And um, I tweeted him years ago when I was on a training camp in Mallorca and told him about um, a bike that I'd seen, he's trying to track them all, you see. 
So I, I tweeted him and uh, sort of we've been kind of, kind of having conversations on Twitter since. And um, out the blue, he sent me a book he'd written. And uh, I don't know him as anything more than being on Twitter. I know his name's Paul, that's about the size of it really. And this small gesture of sending me this, well, quite frankly, beautiful book about a beautiful bike. Um, it's just another one of these small gestures that, well, actually, I'm not sure it is that small a gesture. It's quite a big gesture, really, but I don't know this guy at all. Um, and he just sent me this book in the post. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite a thing, if I'm honest. So that's about it this week. Uh, it's Monday. It's another chance to try again. Uh, to try and get my act together a little bit more um, hopefully that'll be the case but the point is at the minute it's just survival it's just a case of getting from A to B ticking off the jobs and not thinking about it too much anyway that's me for this week not sure what I'm trying to make out this video I'm sure it'll become apparent maybe in the in the months to come Ch take care of yourselves and each other and uh, do what you can for other people